All right, while I wait for the U-bolts, the wheel spacers, and to put the uprights back together to get the car back on the ground, figure I may as well do some other stuff so I'm not just sitting. So I'm pulling the oil filter off. It's these three head bolts right here that are holding it on. They are 11 sixteenths. I don't know how they got these on and torqued them down. It doesn't make sense to me. This one maybe I could see. But the filter itself is welded to this bracket right here, obviously. So how'd they get on there in the back one? Which is right... Can't even see it, but it's back there. Um, so... This housing will actually be for sale. If anybody's interested in one. I'm not going to run it. If I ever do put an oil filter on, it's going to have a, uh, I'm going to do a full flow conversion. So I'm not going to run this bypass filter ever. I just want to make sure there's no oil in here because I need to rip those, uh, the bottom. Oh man, yeah, there's a little bit, not much, but I need to rip the bottom, uh, which we'll call it off of it. So... Let me figure out something to put this in. I'm gonna go get a Ziploc bag. So I don't drip oil all over my motor. And then pop this thing off of here. I've already got the bolts loosened up a little bit. I decided to make this video just now. So hopefully everything seals back up and works right. We're gonna find out. All right, so I don't know if all the head bolts uh, going to coolant passages or not, but I do know that at least that one does. So now I'm draining the antifreeze, which is a slow going process. I'll also be selling these factory manifolds, crossover pipe and all that if anybody needs all that. Um, I'm going with the red tetters, of course. Been looking for this ball peen hammer for like a month and a half. Never even thought to look in here. So I don't know how low this has to be before it's not leaking. Let's see what happens. All right, apparently that low. So, uh... While I have this drain, I'm going to take it to the radiator shop and have it tested. If it's good, I'll run it. If not, I mean, it looks corroded, but that's not a huge deal. If it's, uh, I got the water or the uh, thermostats over there too. I want to throw in. So I want to take care of that. Um, debating on doing new water pumps. I mean, I guess they're still good. I don't know. Who knows? They're different. I know that. Are they different? Maybe they're not different. Looks like that one might be new over there, actually. But I don't know if it's the new style or if it's the old style. I don't know how you tell. If anyone sees this and knows how to tell, let me know. It looks like it's brand new. This one looks original. Or maybe not original, but older. But anyway, let me go ahead and uh, rip this thing off while that's draining. Then I may as well pop the radiator off, All right? Why not? All right, so go ahead and take care of this real fast. I know I keep saying the same thing. I'm debating on doing it on film, but I don't know. I don't know how to speed the uh, film or go up when I'm uploading it or whatever. So I'm sure you don't want to watch me take some bolts out. So I'll be right back. All right, this freaking radiator still draining. That's off. Everything looks good. I'm going to vacuum all that nastiness off of it. Quick question for you guys. There's oil on the uh, threads. Is that normal or is that something to do with the head gasket or what? Look at that. 
Or is that coolant? Because it could be either one. I'm pretty sure it was oil. Yeah, it's oil. Does it go through oil passages as well? That's what just wiped off on my shirt. So that's that. Torque those down. Done. I got to find fittings for these. I'm assuming they're 8th NPT to plug these. That's what the Chevy was. I don't know if that's what they are or not, but I'm thinking that's what they are. So I'm going to, I have to go to Ace Hardware today. So I'm going to buy some uh, pipe plugs, screw those in. I wish I knew if I could pull this thing out too, because I don't want that either. I mean, obviously I could replace it with another head bolt. So if somebody has one they want to part with, that would be cool because I'm not using that block heater. But anyway, I'm going to let that do its thing. Hopefully it doesn't overflow. I mean, it's got a long way to go, so I don't think it will. But you never know. All right, to be continued. Well, not really to be continued. That's the end of this video. Oil filter's gone. Anybody wants to buy an oil filter? Perfect condition? It's yours. Shoot me a message, let me know. We'll talk about it and figure it out. All right, thanks.